Let's dig down a little deeper into each piece of equipment in a pneumatic conveying system, starting with the pumps. Um, so we talked about how you can have certain material handling systems are just beside the press. You're pulling, you're pulling material up from the ground floor up to your throat of the machine, maybe six feet, maybe eight feet in the air, depending on how big the machine is. But in, uh, in most cases, we're looking at a centralized material handling system. And that means we're pulling this resin anywhere from 100 feet away up to over 1,000 feet away, depending on your plant logistics. And as plants have developed over time, you may have an addition to a facility over on the side, and then you get a little bit more real estate, so then they bump out the other side of the facility. But in some cases, we don't necessarily have the, the ideal logistics. So we, we have to convey this material all over the place, elbows, everything else that's building up into a certain pressure loss in the system, we have to take into consideration. So there's different types of pump technologies. Um, starting with regen pumps, either a single or a dual stage, this is an impeller or a fan style pump. Um, these are, are typical for the smaller, maybe the small to medium size applications. And I say that because it, it, these pumps only have so many inches of mercury that they're capable of. Um, there's, you can use any units you want. I, I like to talk in inches of mercury. It's, a, it's, it's more standard in, in the plastics industry and around pneumatic conveying uh, space for vacuum systems. But uh, again, if you're only conveying short distances, medium throughput ranges, maybe 500, 1,000 pounds an hour, whatever else, depending on your system, uh, the RG or the regen pump uh, is going to be ideal for you. Um, the, the next style pump is, is, is called a positive displacement pump, and typically this is going to be a, a, a two-lobe or maybe a three, but in most cases a two-lobe style uh, positive displacement pump. And this is, this is the workhorse of the industry. Uh, this technology has been around for forever, we'll call it, for, uh, with respect to, to the plastics industry. But, but overall, this is the, your workhorse. This is your general purpose. Um, anywhere from 10 to 12 uh, inches of mercury, maybe 14 if you, if you do uh, do some alterations to the relief valve and you really want to run it at its, at its max. But overall, this is going to be able to handle your 600, maybe five to 600 feet uh, away range, uh, equivalent distance based, uh, but also a decent amount of throughput. I mean, based on how, how much resin you need to move, there's different horsepowers and there's different pump frames that we can, that we can size into a system to, to truly encompass uh, most applications. Now, I say most because there is uh, a, another type of conveying that, that, that requires uh, pretty high vacuum, and that is when you're starting to, to convey over 600 feet or you're starting to move a good amount of resin and we're still in a vacuum space. We're not talking pressure just yet. Um, and that's going to be a, a claw style pump. And, and it's still positive displacement with respect to how the pump is assembled. But the lobes, instead of being rounded where the air is uh, pretty much just moving from the, the inlet of the pump to the outlet of the pump, we use claws. And these claws cup the air and compress the air throughout the, uh, the revolution cycle of that pump. What that allows us to do is be able to compress that air and pull super high vacuums on the line, almost to the point where you run out of air to move because as, as, you, as you increase your vacuum levels in a, in a controlled state, you run out of air to be able to move the resin. And these, these pumps are, 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 are fairly, uh, fairly very capable of being able to do most super high distance or super high throughput applications depending on where it fits. Now, Conair released uh, earlier this year, we, we, uh, we developed uh, a hybrid regenerative pump. And the first pump I talked about being a regen pump, now imagine having not, not one or not two stages in, that, in those fan impellers. Let's put a third stage onto that, onto that regen pump. And that's, uh, that's something that we're able to, to, to uh, be able to get the performance of a positive displacement pump, so a more linear, a more flatter pump curve with respect to uh, CFM uh, verse uh, inches of mercury on the pump curve. But uh, keep in mind, by adding that third impeller, we're now able to achieve up to 18 inches of mercury. And that fits a nice window that this industry really has lacked throughout the years of positive displacement pump at 10 to 12 inches of mercury and claw style um, uh, long distance pumps in this specific case of, uh, of 18 to 20 inches of mercury. Now we can fit that void uh, to be able to uh, apply these pumps to certain applications. And the beauty behind this technology is it's up to 30% cheaper than the claw style uh, technology. It's, it's really going to be groundbreaking with respect to, to, to allowing Conair to be uh, more versatile in the type of technology we bring to the table for certain customers. Mm -hmm.